Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for including me into this uh, uh, program. Uh, I'm also part of the what is called uh, Polish uh, Mafia here in <laughs> Leipzig, uh, and I'm going to uh, to present you our new initiative, uh, which we kick off at the Jagiellonian University, where I work as an assistant uh, professor which is called uh, the Creative uh, uh, Computing uh, Lab. This is a very new initiative. We, uh, we started uh, this, uh, this project uh, this May. Um, so I will, I will uh, more focus on some uh, basic ideas and uh, also I will present you the, uh, the team and also uh, our goals and uh, methodology we are going to, uh, to use in, in this project. Um, as I mentioned, I work at the Jagiellonian University, but I also combine uh, theory and practice. I'm also part of the uh, publishing house uh, mentioned by, uh, by Alexandra uh, uh, Małecka. I was the, uh, the first one in Poland who, who started this uh, uh, research on uh, electronic literature, uh, organized the first conference in 2001, and then published a lot of, uh, um, a, a lot of papers on this and stuff like this. Uh, so, uh, the keywords for, for my presentations and, uh, and for this, uh, also for this lab, it's how people use, uh, this is actually the, um, my, uh, which I'm focusing on in my research, uh, how people use uh, uh, computers for artistic purposes to express uh, themselves. Uh, so this uh, actually uh, phenomenon is called creative uh, uh, computing. And mostly, we are focusing on works which we we'll call highly computational works. Yes, so uh, uh, it's not uh, works uh, which are, for example, used in, let's say, um, uh, let's say Flash, uh, uh, which is like a platform, a very good platform for uh, also for Express. But this highly computational work when you use some language of programming to. Uh, to, to create, uh, uh, to create uh, uh, artistic uh, work, and also the very important um, aspect of, uh, of our research and our, uh, our project is uh, this local perspectives uh, on digital media, what is called also in digital media decentering. Uh, I will uh, tell a, a little bit um, about this stuff, and, uh, and also uh, this project we can consider as an experimental uh, one. And uh, Ola, uh, Alexandra Małecka presented one of the creative uh, works. There was a generator, um, there was a um, poem generated by, uh, in Python. Uh, I will show you a couple of, uh, of works during my uh, presentations. And maybe uh, let's start, I will present a different uh, one. Uh, very old, I'm going to focus on some old stuff. So here we still have a generator. So I will present you um, uh, demos, demos in work, uh, which is called um, uh, robotic, uh, robotic Warrior. Um, okay. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use uh, emulator. So this work is designed for very old computer, 8-bit computers from the beginning of 80s. This VIC-20. Uh, it was before uh, Commodore 60, uh, 64. And it was uh, produced by one of uh, the artists, uh, demo, one of the demo sceners uh, in Finland. So just have a look. So now I, I will emulate this work.
Okay, so that was a very short work, only two minutes. Uh, what is very important, there was not a movie, there was not a film, there was a uh, work which was generated, uh, rendered in uh, real uh, time. Um, and this is a contemporary work, uh, but as I mentioned, it was produced for this uh, for this uh, retro computers. Um, uh, and uh, also, uh, what, is, uh, what is important for, for this work, this is part of this demo scene, or like one of the field in, uh, in uh, creative digital media, but also it could be like a part of uh, electronic literature work. Yes, yeah, so we can call, there was a, there was a story, there was a, uh, there was a very important textual aspect uh, in, this, uh, in this work. So, uh, to start uh, uh, my narration about uh, our project, uh, we should focus on this uh, laboratory. This is the trope tank. Ola also mentioned about the trope, uh, trope tank. This is probably the, the, more, uh, the more important um, initiative, uh, um, which is focused on experimental uh, uh, writing and creative uh, computing. Uh, this is a laboratory run by uh, Nick Monfort at uh, MIT. I did a postdoc uh, this laboratory, uh, so um, all of the ideas I have to, uh, for, for our laboratory in Krakow, uh, I actually uh, took uh, from, from that experience. I spent uh, 2013 and 2014 um, in the United States uh, working uh, collaboratively with, uh, with Nick and his uh, collaborators, researchers, artists, poets. Um, uh, and uh, if you are looking for some uh, very good uh, theory on this, uh, uh, on this uh, phenomenon in digital media, I would recommend this book uh, published by MIT Press this June. It's a very new, uh, it's a very new pu publication, Exploratory Programming for the Arts and uh, Humanities. And I think the second uh, initiative also based in the United States, in Colorado, at Boulder University, uh, this is the Media Archaeology Lab run by uh, Laurie Emerson. This is another uh, very important project for, uh, for uh, our uh, work. So uh, what, is, what is very important to start to kick off the lab uh, is to have hardware, to have space, and to have a team. Uh, I mentioned that we kick off this project, we have hardware, we, uh, we have team, uh, we are still building our space because we need space for a couple of people and a lot of uh, hardware because uh, we will store the history of computing and how people use comp uh, computers um, for uh, creative purposes uh, in that part of the world. Uh, so I, will th I think that it will take me like a couple of months to, uh, uh, to have uh, the material space uh, to do that. Uh, but uh, I'm sure uh, we, will, uh, we will make it. And also what is very important for uh, this thinking of this laboratory in uh, humanities uh, is also to focus uh, on these aspects, on these activities like research, teaching, and production. So it's, uh, um, uh, it's our laboratory that will work a lot of artists uh, who will produce, uh, who are going to produce uh, a couple of uh, uh, advanced uh, digital uh, works and there will be works produced by, by academia, by, uh, by the university. And this is very common, uh, for example, in such, a, uh, such a, uh, schools like, uh, like MIT. It's not very common in, uh, in our country. In, uh, I think it's not very common also uh, in Europe. I was looking for such a laboratories and couldn't find, um, uh, especially in digital media and this uh, creative um, uh, and creative uh, ob ob objects. So uh, our team uh, consists of uh, digital media artists, programmers, and uh, and people who are involved with uh, with uh, theory. And I believe I actually uh, have an experience that only in such a uh, team uh, we can create something uh, interesting. Yes, not only scholars, not only programmers, but also artists. They are very important uh, for uh, for our uh, initiative. So, for example, uh, uh, at the beginning we will have like eight people. Um, this is, uh, uh, here is like two. Jakub Wojnarowski, one of the most interesting uh, Polish artists, who presented Poland and the Biennale in Venice. Biennale in, in Venice. Uh, 
uh, and uh, also, for example, uh, Yezhmiej. Uh, he will be the part of our, uh, uh, of our um, academic initiative uh, with his nickname, uh, because he's a demosciner, he doesn't use his real name, so he will be part of the research project supported by the Polish Ministry of uh, Science with his nickname. Uh, uh, and I have, I, we have like two people who are using uh, only nicknames uh, in, that, uh, in that project. I like this uh, very much. Uh, in that particular project, we will focus only on three uh, uh, genres. And there will be textual generators, uh, augmented reality, and interactive fiction. All of them, this is this, uh, what they call uh, highly computational um, uh, works. And uh, this, the, uh, this project is very experimental, as, as I mentioned. It will be mostly focused on the process of, uh, of uh, uh, creativity in digital uh, context, uh, and also in this laboratory uh, context. And we, we are going to produce uh, advanced digital works and also uh, to produce some, some new um, uh, genres in the communication, uh, mostly the tech, tech, tech reports, then I will mention ab about this and some what is called open uh, notebook uh, science. So the term itself uh, was, uh, was very popular in the United States, uh, actually is still very popular in the United States from the 70s. Uh, there was a, a magazine which is called Creative uh, Computing, established in 1976. Um, uh, and uh, there's like a generations uh, which grew up with this, uh, with this uh, m magazine. Um, and uh, usually when uh, you want to establish a project uh, in digital media, you need to combine a lot of disciplines. In, uh, uh, our disciplines are like computer, uh, st uh, computer science, literary studies, creative writing, experimental literature, digital media. And uh, this is, for example, the, the more import, one of the most important Polish uh, magazine, uh, which I focus uh, a lot of on these creative aspects uh, from the 80s. It was also uh, very, very important, not only for Poland, but also for the Soviet bloc. I've heard that a lot of uh, programmers, from, for example, from Russia, <coughs> they grew up uh, with this uh, uh, magazine. Yeah, mm, uh, so here we have like, listed a couple of fields, creative fields in digital uh, media, uh, and mostly uh, there are not a lot of links between, uh, between those, uh, those fields. It means that people who are involved with electronic literature, I'm for example the scholar in electronic literature, uh, people, they will not be curious what happened, for example, in, uh, let's say, demo scene, or games, uh, stuff like this. Uh, they're mostly like, a, like a words created um, uh, in, the, uh, in the context of uh, digital media, and as I mentioned, there are no lot of contacts. So uh, our goal is to focus not on, the, on these fields, but uh, on this pr uh, aspect of creativity and also, uh, and also uh, platforms. Yeah, so uh, like this, the most important, the essential methodology for uh, for uh, our uh, for our project is what is called platform studies. This is a methodology developed at MIT, um, which which uh, uh, it mostly developed by by the by the humanists uh, uh, who are aware of the uh, uh, hardware and software limitation of the uh, of the of the platform. Uh, different uh, computing uh, systems and how we can use this knowledge to uh, describe what happened in digital media and creativity uh, um, uh, in the last like three, four uh, decades when personal computers became popular and also be before um, before the PC, before personal computers uh, era. Uh, so uh, also what, uh, what is uh, very in interesting in, that, uh, in our local context uh, is to focus on uh, clones, on the do-it-yourself approach to hardware. And this is uh, the only one, uh, actually besides China, uh, contemporary China, is the only one, uh, um, the, this is the only one part of the world where people uh, were cloning hardware uh, uh, on a massive scale, uh, and it happened, of, of course, during the communism time. But it's still a very common activity, uh, especially in Eastern Europe and uh, Central uh, Europe. And uh, uh, in our research, we are mostly focusing on this um, on the one, one platform from the 80s, which is called uh, ZX Spectrum. 
uh, created uh, in uh, in UK. Um, but uh, this platform was so cheap and uh, so simple that uh, people in uh, in, uh, in Central and in um, in uh, Eastern Europe they started to clone this uh, this hardware. So there are more than like 400 clones of this uh, platform. This that one is, for example, from Czechoslovakia, uh, uh, didactic. And, uh, and this is amazing, actually, because it's not a creativity only in this software, uh, on the software level, but uh, also in this hardware level. And there are still you know, parties when people uh, gather and they presented what they, uh, what they uh, did. Uh, for example, speaking of this uh, cre uh, creativity of hardware, so they, 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 they will have a lot of very interesting names and also very interesting shapes of the, uh, uh, of, of the hardware. And, uh, and yes, when we are... Uh, so what is, uh, what is very important for this, uh, for this perspective is this local uh, perspective. And uh, um, now, especially the scholars in digital media, they discuss this local aspect of digital media. For example, this Arabic or Chinese uh, uh, approaches to digital media. Also, this, for example, Eastern European, uh, it, would be, uh, it is uh, very important uh, for, uh, for them. Uh, all I mentioned about this project uh, renderings, we actually uh, kick off this project at MIT uh, with uh, a generator uh, I found in a Polish uh, Amiga magazine. From uh, from uh, there was a magazine for Amiga geeks uh, from the uh, from the 90s, and I found a, a very interesting generator which is called Speeches. The author of the generator was Marek Pampol, the editor in chief of this uh, of this uh, uh, magazine. Uh, and he created a generator which produced uh, communist speeches. Uh, and this is what is local in digital media, yes? I can imagine that people, I don't know, authors in the United States who will be created uh, uh, in, at the beginning of the 90s uh, uh, communist, uh, communist uh, speeches. And uh, mm, so there was this uh, article uh, I found uh, uh, in the Amiga, uh, the, the title is How to Get a Nobel Prize. Uh, and he explained, uh, he, he wrote this uh, program and uh, uh, he explained how to do that, how to, how to get a Nobel Prize, how, to, how we can produce uh, communist speeches, how we can produce poems, and also how we can produce um, uh, uh, short, uh, short story. Uh, and uh, uh, what, what, is, what is very interesting, uh, speaking also about uh, 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 media archaeology, this is like 100% digital work. But as you can see, it was, uh, uh, it, there was the only one form we, we couldn't have access. To. It was this, in this paper magazine, yes? Uh, so we were forced to retype this uh, program and then to produce, uh, uh, to produce some outputs. And then um, uh, we, also, we also translated this work into, uh, uh, into, uh, into English. Now it's published uh, in English uh, and also in Polish, uh, and we, because we also translated not only the code, but also we ported the code to JavaScript um, uh, to, uh, to bring them to in English and Polish-speaking uh, uh, audience. And, but this is uh, how uh, people in digital media and this creative digital media and, uh, and uh, media archaeology uh, works. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, another aspect of, for example, this local uh, perspective, this is uh, this, uh, uh, it's called electronic literature collection. There are three volumes of electronic uh, collection. Uh, electronic literature collection, this is volume uh, third which consists of around uh, 1990 uh, works. Um, and so this is, the, as I mentioned, the volume, uh, volume third. So uh, uh, there is also the volume, uh, volume the first one and the second one. Uh, so all of the volumes, they, uh, they consist of around 250 works. But only in the volume uh, third, that one, there are works uh, in, uh, in different languages, different than English languages. So, uh, so, um, uh, people uh, in digital media, they, they, they started, they kick off a coalition against the domination of the English uh, uh, language in the, uh, in the field. It happened in Buenos Aires, the, the, 
sorry, that was my, that was my alarm. Uh, yeah, so actually what we are doing now, we have fight the nomination of, uh, of English uh, in digital media. And it's okay when we are uh, uh, doing research in, uh, in English, but it's not okay with, uh, when the, all of the creative works that are in English. So in my opinion, for example, in the electronic literature field, there's like 99% works in English, like 1% for other uh, languages. And we actually disagree uh, with uh, this... Um, uh, with this um, Okay, so uh, I mentioned that we will uh, also experiment with a new form of communication uh, in humanities. Uh, this, is for, uh, this is the Tech Tech Report. This is a very interesting uh, manifesto for Tech Report in the humanities. Beyond the, the, the there's a text uh, by Nick Monfort also uh, beyond by the journal and uh, and the, and the blog. And also, um, we also run the uh, lectures supported by uh, by uh, Austrian uh, Foundation. Uh, um, uh, did, uh, our laboratory will also run the, uh, um, the course, uh, Digital Genres in Central and Eastern Europe, started this, uh, this fall. And I will also uh, invite you, uh, I skipped uh, part of my presentation, uh, but I will, I will explain that during, my, during the poster session, I also prepared a poster uh, 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 for you. So thank you for uh, attention. And uh, if you have a question, <laughs> I'm open to <laughs> share my experience.